Hi, I'm Steve Shelburne, owner and operator of Shelburne RV here in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee. All right, so good morning. Um, this morning we've got a uh, Prevost bus built out by Country Coach uh, here in the shop with uh, two basement airs. Um, the driver's side still has the original 6536 and the uh, passenger side has, has had an updated uh, 46515 um, that's been updated and done. Now the, the one on the passenger side has got a got a funny noise coming from sounds like the reversing valve so we're gonna go ahead and pull that unit get it on the test bench see what's going on with it um, but we do have it in process let me kind of show you what's going on here all right so you can see we've got this country coach here in the shop and we've got this unit running on our test box and so the biggest thing Thomas is looking at right now we're just looking at uh, you know how much heat do we have obviously a little cold here so we're looking to see what our temperatures are here and then looking at amp draws on the compressors to see what we got so all the amp draws are within where we need to be um, so we're, we're, we're okay with that and then mr. Lewis let's go over here on this other side show you what's kind of going on and as you can see this one barely fits in my shop that's a big bus but uh, over here on this side is the 46 515 and this one here has been obviously updated so mr lewis has got a little bit of work to get this one undone but we know we've got a little bit of an issue with reversing valve or solenoid or something chattering here so we're in here now getting this one pulled out so we can get it on the on the uh, bench and see what's going on with it okay, so we're in here on the crestron system and you can see this one is showing 62 and we're 42.8 on that thermometer and this one is that one there's been off a little bit so i always double check it this one seems to be the one that's been the closest that we've done but yeah there's 20 degrees right there so i'm going to click it over in the heat we're going to test it there okay so we got the filter out and we're scoping this thing and you can see if you can see down there on the bottom see how that coil has some debris on the bottom of the coil so what we're going to do is so we're going to look at that look at that right there but yeah the uh there's some trash and this scope is a little but yeah see how you got there you go see how we got some trash at the bottom of that so yep this unit will actually need to come out and be cleaned so we've got this unit opened up and the customer had sent me a video of this thing making a crazy chattering noise well i figured out where the chatter noise is coming from this line which is vibrating pretty good right now is actually up against the reversing valve One thing we're going to do is this unit actually when they put it in here they close this off which that's about a quarter of the coil that's restricted so i've actually opened this up and then took the plate that we had and have made a uh, extension of that to try to give it more airflow so they're just taping that up and then they're going to reinstall that all right mr thomas has got the 6536 out of the other basement air on the uh driver's side so at this point, just giving everything a good bath. Now remember, we showed you in the uh, in the uh, scope how nasty that that coil was. So now he's just going through, and it had a lot of debris. I mean, obviously you can see what all's going on on the ground right there. A lot of debris come out of this unit. So just giving this a good cleaning. Uh, Mr. Lewis has got the passenger side is in here right now running, and you saw how I went in here and changed how this was done to give it a little bit more airflow right there so that's all finished up and they're running everything now um, just to make sure we don't have any other issues going on amp draws were good airflow is obviously good so just uh, doing a final run on this one all right so they've got the passenger side unit back in got all the duct work now i've just got this taped up for testing purposes because uh, we still have all the bezels and all that that's got to go back in but we've already run it and tested it just to make sure we had everything sealed off 23 degrees differential on this one so this one's good to go
one here thomas has got back in and it's a little bit more difficult because of the way the duck work was done um so we got we got a little bit of tape work and all that stuff to do tomorrow he's obviously got this taped off because there's a nice piece of uh uh chrome underneath that but uh this one here will be finished up tomorrow and then we'll do a test on it so the 6536 is closed they're just working on some of the trim bezels they've actually got it running um so now they're just doing a differential temperature up in the bus just to make sure that uh the temps are good but uh you know this unit was working good before we took it out it just had a lot of trash in it so it still should be good but they're just if we do a differential test up there we can verify that the duct works good down here so they're just getting that one finished up all right so that basement air had 20 22 degrees differential so they got them all fixed up and uh yeah that's a that's a beautiful paint job on this bus so yeah they got it all fixed up and they're getting ready to uh to head on so there you go safe travels basement air unit out of a river ranch um this is a mar air unit mr lewis does have all the stuff off of here so we always like to look theirs over real good because obviously the quality wasn't the best unfortunately and this is obviously a problem so you can see where the pipe has been rubbing it doesn't look like it's done any damage but it obviously has been rubbing and then we want to make sure there's nothing else in here that that could potentially a lot of times this pipe is up against here and it'll cut a hole in it but you can see the compressor the 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 tube is up against the compressor right there so we're going to have to resolve that so yeah i always look these over real good um that one there is real real close so we're gonna we're gonna pull that apart a little bit that one there is the same way so that could eventually be a problem so just really kind of pick them apart because we saw where the tubing would rub through and then these units weren't they'd quit cooling so we're gonna do that now wash it clean it get it all cleaned up mr lewis is gonna put a bearing on it and then it's going back in this river ranch all right so the river ranch is just about finished up mr lewis is actually doing the uh doing test on it right now and then this river this basement area right here you saw this was actually just dropped off by a customer a few minutes ago this is out of another river ranch uh this unit's got a problem so we're going to be getting it diagged and possibly warranted out but Mr. Lewis is in here now, got the new unit in, seen us wrap that, got the duct work in. So just doing the final test, uh, to see where we're at. And uh, we'll be able to get it all finished up here in just a few minutes. Remember several videos back, the uh, Pursuit was in here because it had a bunch of damage right there. And so we're doing a little bit of fiberglass work on that. So he's got, he's got it tore apart in here and they're just doing a little bit of they do a little bit of repair work in here but they're going in here and going back and building that out and then fiberglass and getting all the fiberglass back in there so just letting the fiberglass kind of cure up and do its thing all right well that finishes us up here this uh this week at shelburne rv Hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving uh, with your family. This guy right here actually was out for two days this week uh, because he had to have his head worked on. Actually had two teeth taken out, so he, he kind of talks, talks like Elmer Foote at the moment. So that's <laughs> yeah. what happens. Yeah. Did they get you fixed up? Oh, yeah. Are you in pain? Nah, a little bit. You look like you're in pain. <laughs> I'm in pain because you weren't here. Yeah, I know. That's the way it goes. Hey, thanks for liking and subscribing. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a great holiday weekend with your family. And as always, this video is... Cousin Gary approved. You guys have a happy holiday. Take care now.